How's it going, everyone? Back with another stream today. We are uh, jamming the same 75 that we did last stream. Um, I was gonna, I'm gonna, I was completely honest last time. I didn't think we'd be able to 3T. I thought we would just honestly fall flat on our face. Uh, the list actually felt better than I thought. Um, I, I thought, like, the fact that losing Urza Saga and losing a companion was just too much of a power level drop off, but surprisingly, like, the Noble Hierarchs were very good. Like, the Exalted was very, very relevant. Um, having the Mana Dorks made it so, like, you know, hard casting a Barrow Skull wasn't unreasonable. Like, being able to, like, actually naturally equip a Barrow Skull was decent, too. So, it'll be interesting to see with a bigger sample size. I'm just trying to get a bigger sample size. Um, of data for this deck, honestly. Uh, I have still not sold on just the deck performance, so I just want to get a bigger set of data just to see how this performs. Um, I mean, if we get like a 2-3 or something, it's not that big of a deal. Like, it's just still an underpowered archetype, but it's just, I just want to get a general focus. I really like Ignoble Hierarchy as a card. I think just in general, like if you want to get a more thorough deck tech, you could check out the video I posted on January 19th if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, but generally, like overall, like just the ignoble hierarchs are just mana dorks that can wear swords. Um, and it's just we can power to turn three grist, uh, turn two grist, and then we can it's just sacrifice fodder for grist. So I, I mentioned in the past, like grist is just uh. Awkward in traditional midrange shells, but I think in a noble hierarch shell, I think uh, Grist is better because you don't mind sacking a hierarch to trade with like a Merc Tide or something, right? I did say that like you do need to do something kind of broken or unfair playing midrange, even though you're playing like a fair plan. You do need to see something broken, like Urza Saka is broken, uh, Gigantha is broken as a companion. You have to do something along those lines, um, and I think Endurance is in the same boat where it's a free spell. Um, and I will say that I think this build is a hundred percent contingent on how good endurance is. Like if endurance is really good, obviously we're running four of them. So like if we can, if a turn to endurance is really, really irrelevant example, like living in on the draw, this deck will be good. Uh, I, endurance is not great in the meta right now. Let's say if there's like a lot of Tron or just like where this just, this just isn't worth it. I think this is where the shell kind of falls apart. Uh, that being said, like, Ignore Hyrick means we can, like, power to Necromancia on turn two. We can play stuff like Dam, which is really, 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 really powerful. Um, and we can still play stuff like Hollow Moonlight against Creativity and Rhinos and Living End and Dredge and blah, blah, blah. So, um, yeah, we'll see how this stick performs. Again, with the bigger sample size, I just want to get more League data just to see how it feels. Like, it did actually feel fine, surprising. I was just playing it for fun. But, uh, again, like, I just want... Uh, more data, more more data. Jose, thank you for the good luck. Really appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in. First time chatters, as I got notified. Thank you for tuning in. Don't let Spike see you play the first IOK with the fourth thought. See, I was going Wally one. Um, yeah, I'm. I I feel like there's a lot of prowess and burn, and this deck is a little bit weak to to um to uh like those lower to the ground decks. I could honestly still see a a four thought series. Like I think that's um not that major of a change. Um I I there was a brief moment where I would definitely a thousand percent agree, but I think it's a little bit less now. Uh that I think it's necessary. Uh I could push Bob in this unearth probably. Make sure we have all of our mana uh, online. Oops. Found the unearth. So then since we already have Mm. I think I'll do this and get the trial. That way, like, if we really need to get a black source, we have the flats. Uh, just to play around, like, Blood Moon, for example. If we see, like, a Blood Moon. Hollow Fountain Shock. Oh, we're against Hammer. Okay. So this Besager is going to be kind of nice. But not much for the Giver of Runes, though. So hammer is gonna be interesting from my perspective because I think this matchup is I'm gonna get a cauldron here. Uh I think I want an overgrown tomb. Just so we can cast endurance. So luckily we're on the play, so turn two stone force mystic is pretty good. Uh, we want to get a call draw. 
Hodger is pretty good in this matchup because it can indefinitely block what they want to do. So. We do need kind of removal follow up with this. Like, we have no removal in our opening hand. Like, this hand would be absolutely bonkers against the gaming and her dreads, but that's the kind of the drawback of not knowing what we're playing against and being a reactive deck. Like, this this hand lined up so perfectly against a lot of decks of the format. Like, Murktide, uh, Living End, Dredge, Mill. But, like, we're playing against Hammer where this doesn't necessarily line up. We do have the Besaju. Like, I would hope to draw a third land so we don't have to use this Besaju as a land drop. But... So do they just have the hammer? Hmm. Oh. So we need prismatic inning or fatal push to destroy this giver. Hmm. So I think we have to. Fuck, we just have to besage the hammer. Golly. The giver just makes everything so awkward. Because they can just, like. We could have, like, flashed endurance and blocked, for example, but they just give her it. Like, like Cauldre is actually very, very ineffective here. Because of exactly Giver. We're just going to concede. We are just going to concede. We also just didn't have discard spells. Like we just, we just didn't have anything. And that's obviously what we can't have in this matchup. So two Force of Vigors, two Crime Punishments, an EE, a Dam, two Brutalities, is a maybe Pile, as well as a Lingering Souls. Um, so I don't know why I can't move this over. But this will be our maybe Pile here. Uh, definitely can board out the Grist, I think. I can board out the Unearth. Uh, we want all the Discard Spells. We want all the higher because I think because we can like hard cast the force of rigor better. Those are going to like trim endurances. They're going to like trim the thoughts, use trim and endurance, and call it a day. <laughs> Golly, just the equipment just always want to get drawn, huh? Okay. Uh, so we have Thoughtseize into Stoneforge with Prismatic Ending is not, not bad. We will have to go to 15, but I think it's fine. Oh. They're a thousand percent relying on this saga. So we'll take Stoneforge. They'll probably path our Stoneforge, which is fine. I could also just get a batter skull in theory. Or a sword. I got Shadow Spear. Oh, they get Giver. That's that's unfortunate. That's a good draw. That's a really good draw. I think I'll go basic forest. Um, I'm assuming they'll path my Stoneforge here.
So I could get sword. I think I'll get batter skull. Because we're close to casting a batter skull. Because once they path it, we just need another land off the top. So. So if they, we'll see if they path here. We know five of the six cards in their hand. Saga. Okay. I still got the black source. Oh god, yes. Uh, I think I'll just cry and punish for zero and then just pass. Just so we can destroy the saga. So their hand is Ink Moth, Hammer, Unknown. I could also just like pass and then let them develop the board a little bit more. Hmm. I also could just not give them the second source. So I think I could just like punishment for zero. Just to take care of the saga. I could also just like wait. I think I'll punish them for zero and then if I draw a fifth land I can just cast a battle skull. I think it's fine. Just to like two mana sinkhole them. I'm gonna try them with the marsh flats. They don't play. Wow, that's their play. That's crazy, sure. We'll win the long game. God damn, why do we always naturally draw this fucking card? Well, we know they have hammer, right? So it's like we, we just die to an aid. So I think I just have to prismatic ending for... I could also just like prismatic ending the giver of runes. And then just save the sweeper. I think that's better. We can kick Turak if we have the ability to. Stoneforge, fuck. Dude, naturally drawing this cauldron happens every fucking round. It's actually borderline ridiculous. This happens all the time. I don't understand. Okay. How about Turak? Well, we can't beat the cauldron here, so you just have the punishment for two. Golly. So it would have been better for me to punish him for one earlier. I guess it was already able to take the two for one, but... I don't know. And just called your hammer. Okay. So if they have, um, if they top deck a cigar, they were screwed.
Okay, we're gonna slam a goif. Gotta dodge and aid. Oh man. It's pretty good. Okay. So we need push is a good draw. I wonder if they'll um, activate here. Spending both of our crime punishments sucks. I'm assuming that's the card that they drew. They're one mana of Cauldra. So Saga can be a one, two. So we can card cast this. Hmm. So we can attack with both. I think we just still have to dodge aid, no matter what. They can hard cast Cauldra and attack, and that's whatever. I could, I could hold a fatal push. I think we just have to get aggressive here. I think we just have to hope they just top deck nothing. They just make a couple constructs, like whatever. Like we need to, we need to like. Okay, are they chumping? Chumping would be very good for us. Chopping would be very good for us. Thinking about blocking. Okay. Kind of gets fucked by spell pierce, but what are you gonna do? So these constructs can be four fours. If they just float here, I'm assuming they drew a land and they wanted to think about casting Cauldra. Now we've seen you draw prismatic ending. We don't have our own Shadow Spear, unfortunately, so we can't like cast Shadow Spear, activate Shadow Spear, and then like push it. Unfortunately, we can't do that. Okay, then we can construct. So that means they did not draw the land for culture, or they they have another line that they want to take. Hmm. They already have the shadow spear. They could go back up to four, five, six. They could go back up to fifteen. We have push with four, seven. 
drum. Okay. So I'm assuming they want to cast a cauldron eventually. Okay. So they can attack for five. Yeah, so not punishing for one, like, on turn three or whatever, or four. And so them having the Shadow Spear is kind of awkward. That's huge. That is huge. So do we want to play around them having some sort of protection spell? I guess we could just push and see if they have the protection spell. I guess I could have prismatic any of this construct first and then pushed in response. Oh man. I should have done that. So if I prismatic ending the shadow spear, that would be not good enough. Oh, I feel like we could have won this game and I just fucked it up. Kind of prismatic ending the construct. They skill, I push. I attack here. They have to block the goy if they go to two. Fuck, 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 fuck. So I guess still prismatic ending the shadow sphere becomes a six six. Doesn't do anything. There's actually no artifacts in the graveyard. Fuck, I'm so mad at myself. I this, there was this game was definitely winnable and I just like sequenced my removal wrong. I wanted to say the present again for culture and that was just like not right. So they can just pass. They'll probably activate Cauldra. But then you just like just equip it. So how do how do we win this game? We have to draw EE. E. We have to draw EE off the top. off the top or oh, damn so they can attack for six Whoa. Dude, that gives us so many more outs. Holy shit.
Removal spell. Sacrifice prismatic ending the construct. That's two four fours. So prismatic and shadow spear. These both become four fours, and then I can attack with both. They have to block one. We go up to ten. Yeah. So exile shadow spear. So I'll probably trade a construct for batter skull. I guess I could attack with endurance too. But endurance makes us to like aid. I guess if we just put the aid the hammer on the germs, it doesn't matter. Oh, sure. It's fine. Oh, do we just lose? No, we just lost. Oh my god. I totally missed Ink Moth. Oh my god, this... I just played so bad this game. It's so frustrating. Fuck me. Like right off the bat, I'm just like not punishing the the board. I mean they're playing around a push, right? So they should just jam in theory. How's it going, please only? Hey Zero. Yeah, I think one line was good. I I I I just completely fucking punted both times. Like there's two there's two points of the game where I definitely could have just played better. Cause like if we had crime punish if we had just punch him at the board, just sort of give her in shadow sphere, we can prismatic ending the board, like the construct, and then we just like there's just like two two critical points of the game that just like I just did not play well. My only hope is just like bluffing a removal spell here. The other I wish is like attack, um, equip Batter Skull onto Tarmogoyf and gain like nine. That was another line. We had that. Emo Extremo 1551. Thank you for the Prime sub. Really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, God damn it! I'm so mad at myself. Could have easily, I could have won that game. There's, there's a line where you just, there's a line. There's two lines, and just darn. Hmm. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate. Okay, let's check it off. Let's go to game round two. Wooded foothills. Basic forest. Topier spawn. Is this Ponza? It looks like it. I'm gonna fetch a basic planes and prismatic in that Utopia sprawl. That's what I'm gonna do. I know like we it's it sucks because like a basic planes we really can't cast grist on turn three, but I I think we need a prismatic any of that sprawl. This looks exactly like Ponza. Now true drew about our skull. Hopefully just kept like a one lander was super greedy or something. 
this might be a run in six. Yep. Fetch land. Oh my god, we just naturally drew both of our equipment again. Dude, just... <laughs> Dude, I, I make this joke every time, but we I think I naturally draw our fucking Stoneforge equipment way more than anyone else. Like that's this is the next round we drew Cauldra again. It's kind of bonkers. Well our hope is they just slam a blood moon here. Where they draw I I don't know, I'm telling you, I always naturally draw this Cauldra. Okay, that's perfect actually. We just need to hit our, our land drops. And then just um, naturally cast this uh, batter skull and sword, and we are off to the races. Like Blood Moon, we can kind of ignore now. And then now, if we draw another land, we can go with Flash and Sword, Equip Sword on Defraction, and then we just off to the races now. So, another wrench, sure. Like I mentioned, I just need to draw a um, another land. This is fine. I'll just um, flash and batter skull and step. I'll take the red six down. It's fine. I don't know how they beat Cauldron plus batter skull. <laughs> so I am just solo carry this game exactly. You know, naturally drawing this equipment is actually not bad now. <laughs> like with the Stoneforge and tapping, sure. Sure. Flash in uh Yeah. I guess I could also just get a sword into play, but they're just like, wait. I thought you cheered at the sword fire nice. <laughs> you know, all that bitching about naturally drawing the equipment. <laughs> all that bitching I did. All that bitching and moaning I did. <laughs> They're like, wait, wait, I tutored this. <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. I mean, it just, you know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Calder. I'm sorry, Barrascal. I'm sorry for shitting on you. I'm sorry. I apologize deeply. You know, it's just it just comes out. I can't. It's not my fault. It just comes out. Um, the Force Tender is kind of a slam dunk. We could, in theory, board and Force of Vigor just for Blood Moon. This has like an out. It's only Force of Vigor. It's only Blood Moon, I mean. I think it's probably worth it. Necrobencha versus Unmorn Ego. Well, Unmorn Ego doesn't uh, make zombies, right? Unmorn Ego. GG. Oh, uh, that's tough, actually. That's tough. Maybe want to board out some number of Tarax. I like Gris because at least it can be some of them and out to Fury. I think we like Dan too. Maybe just born one force. I don't think I want to be overburdened with force of vigors. I don't know. I think that's a tough call, Poison Lee. Um... God, that's hard. You know, burn out one endurance. I think it depends on the context of your deck. If your deck can't handle, um,. If your deck can handle zombies, then I think Necromancer is worse. But in a vacuum, I think giving the bodies is better than letting them draw cards. I don't know. That's tough. 
Again, that's I think that's tough. We're just gonna push this. So we'll see if they have a red and six here. If they have a red and six. I'm kind of pricing the prismatic ending it. Oh my gosh, they have Ragavan into red and six. I th I th I think that's really contextual. I think I might as well just have um, gotten a temple garden here because like we're gonna get fucked by Bloodman anyway. Okay. Because in that way we can at least like double spell the hierarch, unless you just like crack here and then get cool. So they can fury here, which is gonna be annoying. But I mean, like it's always like, are you playing Gigantha, right? If it's Gigantha, and obviously like Unmoored Ego is like way better because you can actually play Gigantha. Like, it, it, like Unmoored Ego shouldn't get in the way. Like Necromancer shouldn't get in the way of Gigantha. So like, there's stuff like that where it's just like there's kind of a clear winner, you know? Karn. Okay, what are you minusing? Walking Ballista. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five. God bless. God bless. They have Veil. Fury. Well, the Fury we can stop. So we'll take the Ballista. Slam a High Arc. And then attack the Karn. Take it down. It doesn't give draws every time, though, right? Yeah, so, like, if you leave it... if you, So, if they don't have the card in the hand, it's the same drawback. It's just, it's the same clause for a drawback. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. If they had dash Ragavan, I might block. Burnt and Forest Center coming in clutch. Choose that one. Where's my unearth, huh? Where is my unearth? So I could Grist. I think I Grist plus here. Now if they attack with both, uh, I'll trade my um, Insect Token on Ragavan, High Arc on, uh, and I'll Chump the Fury. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Stodge. I, I think I, the card draw. It's a, I guess it depends on the deck, right? Because if the if it's like a deck that just completely folds the Necromentia, then like the Enorm Rigo is obviously better because um, uh, 
I'll block the Fury here, and then I can plus with Gris and, and uh, block Ragamon next turn. It's the least extensive resources. Are you doing the review segment of the stream? Will it <laughs> I don't know. I think it'll depend on if Sandy wants to do it with me. Sandy to return, I usually um, kind of do one together. So I don't mind training an endurance for a fury. How did firewalls die? So I don't understand what your sayings are off. Endurance. This is a good trade for me, I think. And if I f could finally draw a fucking land, I could cast this batter skull. Oh, don't tell me it's a fury. Oh, okay, sure. Fuck. They could just get pithing needle. Oh, it's snaring bridge. We have hierarchs though. Interesting. So I'll attack. Oh yeah, yeah. They they cast a fury and I saved my two hierarchs from it. Hierarchs, uh, pretty good in the face of a uh, ensnaring bridge. Exalt against Lantern, yeah. So, like, seeing Karn here it makes me want to board in the second uh, Force of Vigor. Fuck. Dude, we haven't drawn our third land. <laughs> and it's turn eight. Like, thank God bless for this forest center. Otherwise, this game would have been so over a long time ago. We have literally drawn Cauldra three out of the four games today. Holy moly, what the hell? <laughs> dude this is just like where is mark right now <laughs> this is why i don't this is why i have not played stone blade because i always fucking naturally draw these two <sighs> um i guess i can sack my insect destroy karn and then cast grist again It's just weird because their top decks are a lot better than ours at this point.
we just it's turn nine and we just n did not draw we just drew equipment instead of lands so since we saw card on board in the force of vigor um I forgot what to cut. Could trim a push. It's only like literally Arbor Elf. Season Prime Answer, Lock and Blista. I think it's fine. Cool. We just play around Blood Moon. This is nice, actually. This Forge Tender into Stone Forge Mystic, get Cauldra, protect Cauldra with Forge and Forge Tender is, is, is a nice, nice, very nice. And I don't even have to like prismatic ending a, a Blood Moon, we just play around it. We just get every basic here. And then like if they go turn on Ragavan, this Burge and Forge Tender just like blocks the Ragavan, so. Nice one of, nice one of. So now they could theoretically ramp. Um, I think I might actually prismatic any of this elf. So I think I'll get a swamp here. And then prismatic any of the elf and see how to assess from there. If I even want to prismatic any of this elf. Because they have that like utopia spell that's going to suck. Lightning bolts, whatever. So we have the forge tender. I could just take the lightning bolt, and then like then we and then we just don't have to protect our stoneforge mystic. So I think I take Lightning Bolt. Presenting the Elf. So now we can be really insulated to like this. We're we're just relying on Stoneforge Mystic to like carry us here. So they get foothills. So I'll get a stone forge. Yes. Get a cauldra. Get a forest. Get high arc. Attack Ren. I guess there's an argument to not do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So Stoneforge Mystic just carried that match. Absolutely just like carried that game. <laughs> God. Naturally draw a cauldra. Just we just it's okay if we naturally draw a cauldra if we can cast a Stoneforge Mystic and guarantee it won't die. That'd be great. That'd be much fun. Stoneforge to carry, yeah, exactly. Gigantha on the mm. this is kind of greedy, but like we have two mana sources. We have like every, we have like four and like 
two one mana interactive spells and then two ramp spells. So if they like don't go anything on turn one, we can. Okay, that sucks. Oh, perfect. Uh, basic lanes actually isn't perfect, but it's uh, it's a land. Basic lanes is actually probably the worst land, <laughs> honestly. Darcy. Okay, we'll probably have to slam Goyf here. Seiju. Hmm. I wish we were on the play here. It looks like it's just guy breach. Where are our endurances when we need them? Fuck. That two Ragavans. We can top deck another rule spell. In theory, we'd be okay. But not when they have. Dude, their head was so good. Jesus Christ. So, Ragavan, Ragavan Darcy, Prismatic Ending, Expressive Iteration. So, sideboarding. I'm assuming we board in all the one mana sweepers. Yeah. That's a good draw. I think I'll thought seize here and then just endurance. So they put the card on top was considered in the graveyard. Okay. So they self consider unknown. Trigger shredder. Bottom just, just got consider interesting. So if we top deck a black source, we can track them. It didn't attack with Shredder. Interesting. So that was a good draw, like I said. If we draw a Fatal Push, that'd be best draw here, or Prismatic Ending, so we can deal with the Shredder. Ooh. I don't think I want to double spell here. I guess I have to, huh? I 
I don't think so. I think we just wait. I don't think we can double spell. I don't want to... Their hand could potentially just be not great because they milled everything with Consider. I don't want to give them another loot. Ah, we really need a Fender Rule as well for that Shredder. So this looks like a bolt to me. So I can just block here and they can bolt my endurance. It's fine. They have two bolts. I guess I got punished for not doing it because I got equipped here and attacked. If I can loot anyway, fuck me. We need a removal spell like Pronto. This is a 30. Oh, breach. Okay, GG. Golly, they just. We just we drew the endurance, which is good, but their draws are just so good. It's actually kind of crazy. Forge Tender seems okay. We're in the one mana sweepers. I think we can board out Grist. Kind of want the other dam, maybe. Maybe we tr don't bring all of those in. Maybe we brought out the Tarax. No, oh, there's four sweepers. Yeah, let's do that. There's an argument to, like, take one of the considers, but then that just telegraphs endurance so hard when we cast that discard spell. I don't know. It's difficult. It's difficult. So Burge and Forge Center so far has been very impressive. I think it's a card that like, like Fury just is so good against us. So just ensuring that we'll be good against Fury is kind of nice. Um, I can overrun Tomb. Awkward if we draw like an EE or something, but... They always have a Darcy Bobble, huh? So leading on Fire Islet means they're probably have a land light hand and they topped with Darcy. It sucks. They know they look at what we're drawing. Another high arc. Alright, well we're gonna go high arc aggro here. This is this is all our hand is doing. We killed their singular threat and going all in on an ignoble high arc. <sighs> I can hate this card so much. Why does this card have dash? Don't understand.
I would have liked that endurance. I would have really, really liked that endurance. Something. so annoying but I have to take this ragavan like they're just gonna keep hitting me with it they can go shredder plus consider and then we just need a singular removal spell for it golly how's it going john um from the new set nothing currently um, I'm excited for EDH because, like, we finally have an Azin commander, so that's kind of cool. But so they play the Shredder. They're gonna consider. They're gonna prismatic ending. We just need a removal as well off the top, and we are. Like, we have a shot here. <laughs> Ruel. <laughs> you are all in on that, uh, Abzan, uh, infect deck, huh? Well, we're gonna have to do this. Hyarx, can you get there? Can we cross the finish line? Can we cross the finish line? We can. Oh man, I wish we had a sword of fire and ice. Sword of fire should be so good if we didn't actually draw it. I consider. But expressive iteration on the bottom, interesting. Okay, we just have to take this hit. Oh shit, why did I close out expressive iteration? Okay, well they have an EI in hand. Please be nothing. <laughs> The second endurance, that's funny. So this is the year they cast. I, I like, I, 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 they hit endurance both times, which I can't really complain because I can't cast it, but I would love to top deck that so that I can ambush their monkey and then attack for lethal here. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Lightning bolt. Dude. <laughs> So crazy. Um, Cast Ragavan, no dash. They so they Oh, they didn't cast a lightning bolt. Interesting. Interesting. Oh my god, ignoble hierarch off the top. Please. Sword of Fire and Ice would win the game. They're going to go to one, and I'm going to be so sad. Oh, my God. 
god, we had so many outs, so many outs, but... Well, at least they're, they can't cast red mana, which is good. Please, give me something, deck. Please, deck, give me something. Please. Please. I beg of you. We have literally naturally drawn Cauldra every fucking round. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna just... Kill myself with Cauldra. Literally, we've drawn Cauldra four times. It's crazy. In three matches. Okay. Oh, they drew the steam vents. Oh my god. Fuck me. Mm, they're gonna draw a prismatic ending and I'm gonna be so sad. This is annoying. Statistic and Paul to draw Cauldra this much? I know. I know. <laughs> I know, bro. I know. I right, well if we draw an untapped land we can cauldra them. Looking for a prismatic ending. Or a chump locker. Spiral of Canal. Is this an unholy heat? Okay. Just so like if they have prismatic ending, they can't prismatic in my culture if I top deck a land here. Oh my god, is the last card spell pierced? I mean, this cauldron is looming. And they know about it too. Because of they bubble tricked us. Oh, they have breach, huh? Oh, sure. So we need to draw one of our basics so we can call draw them. Oh my god, they hit basic forest. Oh my fucking god. Okay, they had Volt anyway. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god, the fact that they hit forest is just like, what, it's a kick in the nuts, too. <laughs> It'd be a lot better. Dude, I think I just give up.
you know, if we do that, well, we're only just going to draw it again after we shuffle. We're going to shuffle our, we're going to have a fetch land, and we're going to shuffle the cards, and we're still going to naturally draw Cauldra. So we're going to try to top like a third land. Planes. Memnite. Don't have a Sentinel to turn one. Don't have a Sentinel to turn one. Huh? Okay. Okay. I'm intrigued, opponent. I am intrigued. I'm not going to lie. I am intrigued. Oh, so they're just like an aggro deck. Hmm. Do you take five and then slam Goyf next turn? Take five, because I would have to chalk anyway, so it's like... I... They attack, I might just block the Memnite. That's cute. I actually need a removal saw for that Glint Hawk. Oh my god, why? Well, this Grist will soak up damage, I guess, so. That's actually really relevant. Wow. No respect for my grist. No respect for Gristorino. I think it has Banishing Priest now. They have another one. Wow. That's not bad. Waiting for them to, like alpha. So I can block the selfless spirit. Two endurances.
It's gonna be a long game, y'all. <laughs> I feel like they're gonna have like brave the elements or something, and I'm just gonna auto die. Oh. Hmm. Oh my god, do I not have a second green source that I can tutor up? Oh, I have a second overgrown tomb. Thank god. Oh, I milled it with grist. Fuck. Oh my god, that is so bad. So bad. Walk like that, I guess. Golly, that's so bad. How many lands we have? Oh my god, stop! <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> I know, where's the cauldra? Dude, this is just like... Oh my god, I just... I just quit. Another force of vigor. That's pretty good. Wow, that's actually pretty good for us. How's it going, Maka? Hope you're doing, buddy. I was like, why did they move that? I think the problem is Fiend Artisan is just so fragile overall. I think that's the problem. I can't believe I am sacrificing an insect to destroy a Memnite, but it needs to be done. Oh my god. Double Force of Virtue is really fucking scary, actually. Okay. I don't know how he won that game. I don't know how we won that game. We just, we flooded so, so much. The Grist just fucking carried, dude. That Grist just carried. Easy tubs? I don't know about that, Maka. I don't know about that. It's good. Yes, Maka, you, if you ever, I, I think if you just tuned in, Maka, we, it's, it's been three matches. This is our fourth match. And we naturally drew Cauldra four times in three matches. And it was very detrimental. Except for one where like we actually had a stone fortune play against Ponza and we actually untapped with it, which is like rare. So yeah, I <laughs> it's not been a good day. <laughs> we could just like not naturally draw our colleges every group. So Torax are interesting because like we're never gonna be able to kick it, but they can't block their white creatures. 
I don't think we want brutality because they have the force and we already running in like four sweepers. Maybe we brought out the thought seizes and then trim one endurance. Oh, they just have like selfless spirits and stuff. Maybe we brought in an earth because they aren't going to uh, kill our cell or kill our stuff. Okay, basic swamp ain't gonna work. I'll bottom up basic, I guess. I'll get overgrown tomb with one of the lands. Oh, I actually need a yeah. I need a boss. I need to get a. I need to get a second great source or case scenario. This is a three two. We're gonna flash in the endurance, block Hithian. If they have force of vigor or force of virtue, I think that's what it's called. Next two damage, so endurance still deals one to this Kithian. So they need to do this plus force. Oh, it gets indestructible. The four four, Jesus. All right, so we are going to try to use Cauldra defensively here. I think we just take this four. Okay. Yeah, Kit Thing's a really cool card. I agree. It's probably too late. Yeah. So the Endurance can block the Glint Hawk. Interesting. So block here, block here. This gets around. This still plays around Force of Virtue. How I be I don't know. I might try the new set comes out. I 
I guess I could attack with Tarmogoyf. Get double exalted triggers in. Oh, I could attack Gideon. That's actually pretty good. I might play Pioneer when the new set comes out. I was actually thinking about playing it soon. Because I like the abs and flicker list that Nine Ball posted. I think it's kind of cool looking. I think Touch being able to. Um, uh, be able to flicker Chariot is interesting, albeit clunky, but still kind of cool. We just like to flood, huh? So I think we can chump before to chump the Gideon. Or like Tarn can actually just flat out block it. So we'll just attack Gideon here if it somewhat survives. Toxic of the way I don't it'll be interesting. It'll definitely be interesting for sure. I don't know why they block like this. Because I just take everything. Alright, cool. <laughs> I don't touch. Okay. Culture's only good against people that don't know how culture works. Got it. Culture is only good against people that don't know how to play around culture. <laughs> well, with all the shit that we went through this league, we're still two and two. So let's try to shake it off and try to get that Absent Jun three two here. This opening hand. Does this count? <laughs> God damn it. Dude. They're gonna get overgrown too. Just in case I draw a call draw. Yeah, one oh since you've been here, true Maka, true. This is Ragavan. Thoughtsies. Probably take my wrist. So Gigantha. So is this sh no, it wouldn't be shot. So this is Jund? Interesting. They took a high arc. I'm gonna get a try on. I'm doing statistics in school right now. I've done the math. <laughs> I mean, that counts as like the fifth time you've had it. So we naturally draw culture every fucking game, almost every match, almost. It's just so detrimental. So detrimental. Fucking hate this card so much. Just that they took high arc. How do we top deck a Tarmogoyf? Hmm. They could be Blood Moon, but I'm not going to play around that. As of right now, at least. Oh, I got to go survive one more Bunky hit. One more monkey hit. Or they could just blood moon me and I'm going to be sad. And that's why I didn't use this treasure because it's going to slam a moon on me. Okay. Are they jund? That's the real question. They could be Jund. They are Jund. So no Blood Moon. Okay. Croaks.
So they don't know about the endurance. So I'll probably just like endurance block Ragavan. Shuffle the or put the Crookster back on the bottom of the library. They have Terminator or something, then I'm just gonna get fucked. So we can Prismatic ending the Gris next turn. Oh wow, they like wasted a lot of resources to deal with this endurance. It's pretty good for us. Uh, Ignoble Hierarch would be a good draw because we're gonna Prismatic ending for gr the Grist or a discard spell. Oh, they're food. Huh. Oh gosh, should I save my prismatic ending then? They shocked. Oh, the bitch again at the end. Okay, sure. Thoughtsies. So we can damn their Gigantha. If we draw a land, we can go damn Gigantha, play Grist. Which I would be happy with. Land. I got a sword. So now we can just like have grist fodder or sorry, sword fodder. Like we just have creatures that we can just equip with. I think they know about our Grist, right? Oh, sure. That's fine. I'll block. Block. Trade. Oh, they're running Saga. That makes sense. Oh, shit. Build the Thoughtsies. Not bad, not bad. Oh my god, Saga's so good. So if they make a construct, it'll be a 4-4 four, four right now.
We could try to get them in range for Grist. We have three creatures so far. Main phase activation. Oh my. That is not good. Not good at all. Oh, I'll lose two life. No bueno. I think I have to aggro them out. It's hard to do because they have two food tokens in play, but... My sword equip, that's five damage. And then Grist could potentially be four, so that's nine. I wonder if they get like Shadow Spear or something. Oh, they could get Pithing Needle. Oh, they get Bobble. Okay. So they're still digging. That means their hand is trash, right? So I can push this. Sword equip. Attack. I'll discard thoughts of these. Lose your life. Another oven, sure. Okay. Push that. <clears throat> the socket of food. Endurance is interesting. So if I can connect with this insect. Bolt my insect. That's fine. They're going to shoot them. And then we kill them. Oh, but they have the food. So I can't do it yet. There's still a lot of trouble, though. I 
three life is just so crazy. So they can gain nine life here. Nine life. Could probably discard Stoneforge Mystic. this ultimate do might have to like sack an insect destroy the ob fuck they have saga golly Okay, it's not Cauldra that we naturally drew, but it's still pretty ass. So that's four, five, six, they go to one. Okay. Seven. Yeah, so I will shoot this ob. I think I'll sack. Destroy this ob. Now I'll flash an endurance. So the construct will be a four four. Okay. So that's two triggers. It's a very complicated game.
I'll leave their graveyard still. Dude. <laughs> we, this is literally... How is this possible? How is this possible? Don't understand. So they can kill Grist here. They're shooting me. Okay. Okay, dokey. So now we can sword, equip, endurance, attack, shoot, ob down, play. Igno I guess we can play Ignoble Hierarch first, get that extra damage in. They make a Construct, we probably bought the block the Construct. Okay. We need all fatal push. I guess I can make a construct on block. This grist is just like carrying here. They don't block. Fatal push, please. So if they have Shadow Spear, we lose. But they didn't fetch up Shadow Spear. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, let's see what they tutor up. Let's see if they have Shadow Spear here. These two cards are literally something else. Literally something else. We'd have a better shot. Okay, we know that they don't have Shadow Spirit. That's good to know. So frustrating.
guitar. All right, so we're going to board in all these. We're in the Force of Vigors, the Dam, Torak can come out. You are the Thought Seizes. The cauldron will be the bane of my existence here. Sounds pretty good. Pull one to six. Good to see. Good to see. I wish we had a one drop here so that we can go Inquisition plus like a Noble Hierarch or even a follow up to Skirt Spell would be fine. Thank you. They may push this. They will. Oh, they won't. They will. All right, Kaldra, I finally summon you. Summon the... How about a land off the top? That'd be great. Dragon Cauldra plus play Goyf. Thank you. I'm going to go if... Okay, so they go... Construct. Make a construct. So there's no enchantment in the graveyard by my count. Land, creature... Sorcery, instant, artifact. So Goyf will be a 6 7. They're floating. So do they have Ob? Hmm. Pyrite Spell Bomb. Do they have an holy heat? They do have an ob. 
They don't suck construct. Sure. Hmm. Their hand really doesn't do anything. Or the Borsi doesn't really do anything. I think I'm going to sandbag this dam. Two damage. Guess I'll damn this construct now. So they don't have any witches of an activation. And if they draw Mayhem Devil, like we just have lethal now. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, fuck, this isn't... If they have a turn on Ragnarok, we're just fucked. They move into six. I think we'll keep. Like, this hand is good if we just if they just don't have a turn on Ragnarok, man. That's fine. Just play a bunch of ones, please. Play an oven. Play another squirrel. Okay, so I might have to uh, punish him for zero now. Oh my god, stop ragavanning me. Because a two three. All right, let's cast our life. We do need to find a rules for for this squirrel, though. Oh my god.
Okay. So we need a punishment for zero because of... They're just going to get Witch's Oven. They're going to dash me, which is going to suck. So they can dash monkey here. Oh, they're not dashing. Not good. So I'm gonna dash Ragavan here, make a construct. Our hand was just too clunky. Oh, they had the Bloodstain Mire too. Hmm. So they could. You can flash an endurance, block the Mayhem Devil. Let's shoot my my endurance. Park is too slow. Because now they just like make a construct. They can fetch up Witch's Oven. They sack it. Squirrel becomes a 4-4. Four, four. I think this league is just so frustrating just because of the fact that we kept drawing so horribly. That it's just like... This league just feels bad because of the times we just had to like naturally draw all these shitty ass cards. Okay, let's go over. Okay. This is not feel like this the, the equipment package just feels so bad. Just feels so bad. It just like it just getting stuck in your hand just does not feel good. Alright. I appreciate you tuning in up. Hope you all enjoyed the abs and ignoble hire content. Uh let's raid fluff balls. Playing not magic, but no one else I'm following is uh, playing. So let's send them some love. I appreciate you tuning in out. Hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Uh, I think my next stream will probably be either Monday or Tuesday. So hope to catch everyone then. Take care.